He's not coming. Did he call you? No. Last I heard he was. Maybe he's grounded again. Or maybe chickened out on coming alone. He is afraid of the dark. Well, he should have called. Relax. Not everybody runs on the same schedule as you. Cute. Cool. You're gonna hear a story about trains. Oh, yeah, but that's not all. My story's also about wanting something really bad. So bad, it's all you think about. Nothing else matters. But when you're finally getting close to it, when you can see the light at the end of the tunnel, you've got to watch out. Because that light could be on the front of a big old train barreling straight at you. You might not have any place to run. Submitted for the approval of the Midnight Society. I call this story... <laughs> the Tale of Train Magic. Tim Williamson loved trains and knew everything about them. And his dad was even a conductor. Next stop, Waterloo Station. Waterloo Station is next. But Tim's father died, and since then, Tim spent more and more time playing with his model trains in the cellar and hanging at the central station, where he could be around real trains, just like his dad. I go all the way downtown to sign you up for Little League Triads, and you don't even show? I had stuff to do. Like what? Hang around the train station all day? Look, you better go tomorrow. Mom doesn't want you spending all your time down there. You want to go to the movies with me and the guys later? Nah, I'm busy. Yeah, right. Watching your little trains go around in a circle? So? I can do what I want. But you don't do anything. It takes a cap off. It's too big. You look stupid. Dad didn't look stupid. <sighs> That's because he was a real conductor, not a little twerp like you. Give it to me. Give me. Give me. Great, thanks. Hello, Tim. Who are you? Ray Lawson's the name. I'm the conductor on the 713. Passes by every night, right here, on track number one. You know the train? Uh, I don't think so. You'll learn. I've had my eye on you. I see you on these tracks every night. You want to be a train man, don't you? Uh, yeah, I guess. 713's due by real soon. like the watch? Every conductor should have a watch. It's a real beaut, isn't it? Here, take it. Then you can be a real conductor, just like me. Yo, Tim! What's keeping you? Uh, I was just talking to, um... Where'd he go? There was a conductor standing right here. Take it back. The cap's not too big. It's too tight. It's cutting off your brain. Us. I know every track inside 200 miles of here. Well, 
Is there a 713 that goes over them every night? Not unless you believe in miracles. Those tracks have another train since I was your age. <laughs> All them highways and trucks. No, railroads ain't what they used to be. Hey, Tim. We got a roll. You calling it? Go on. Father was never late. Don't you go start. Go on. I'm looking for the young conductor from the train station. I believe he lives here. Conductor? Oh, Tim. Yeah. What do you want? Would you please give this to him? Hey, Tim. There's some guy asking about you. We have a new passenger. Do you play poker? You don't know how long I've been waiting for a new person to play with. But where's his ticket? Can't ride a train without a ticket. Don't you know that? Uh, I don't have a ticket. Tim's a conductor. Conductor doesn't need a ticket. Hello, Tim. Glad to have you aboard. And we're right on time, too. First time I saw you, I knew you'd make a great conductor. What's going on? Who are you people? Oh, you'll get used to these folks. You'll have to. They're your responsibility now. What? Here's your watch. Conductor's gotta have a watch. So, it's just, at first I thought I was dreaming, well, but... maybe you were. No, I wasn't. It really happened. What was it, Cap? Well, could have been nothing. Could have been imagination. 
maybe it could have been train magic. What's train magic? Well, depends on how you see, Timothy. See, most people look at trains. They don't see nothing but big old machines. Trains got more than that. Trains got its own language. The sound of wheel on metal, the sharp whistle, the pure song of a bell. You see, that's the train speaking. If you know how to listen. Nothing has more train magic than the conductor's watch. Because a railroad depends on time. Without time, nothing on the line works right. Ray Lawson wanted me to take his watch. Ray Lawson? Why'd you come up with that name? Well, that's the name of the conductor on the train. That's him! That's the conductor! Who is he? Do you know him? I know of him. In the old days, before radios, do you know how conductors got their messages? No. Station operators left them on pole beside the tracks, and the conductors had to reach out a hand and grab it as the train went by. Pretty ancient. <laughs> I suppose so. Anyway, there was a story I always heard from the old timers about a night they're working on tracks not so far from here. So they sent out a message to the conductor on the 713 to change tracks. You see, that's how it worked back then. The train had to stop. The conductor got out and changed his wish itself. Anyway, this conductor got sent a message to change over at switch 224. What happened? Forgot to check his watch. He fell asleep. He never got the message. Never changed the switch. Train crashed. A lot of folks died including the conductor, Ray Lawson. But I saw him. And he dug his body out of the wreck. Still had the watch in his hand. The lid wasn't even open. Cap, that switch 224. That's on the tracks by my house. That train crashed into my house, didn't it? Go on, oh, no, it ain't natural. Kids your age hanging around here all the time. Now go on, play baseball but... or video thing in the jigs, whatever kids your age do. Now go on. We're friends. Go on, get going. Go on. Get going. Stay away from trains. You hear me? Lawson, you must be cat. Don't matter who I am. Leave the boy alone. Get on your ghost train and go. Can't do that. <laughs> Gotta keep the schedule. I told you to leave the boy alone. Time to board, Cap. I don't need any more passengers, but you can help bring me a new conductor. <laughs>
Busy with Big House just in. Let's play. Hey, yo. You're getting real close to the deep end there, bro. Cap. What about him? Look. Yeah, cute, so what? Look, that's him! He's in the train! Hey, you're right. Funny, last time I saw him, he was a little bigger. Hey, Cap, still hanging with my screwy little brother? This isn't a joke! Yeah, the only joke here is you, you little... How'd you do that? I didn't. Well, who did? Brain magic. Seven thirteen. The seven thirteen just left the station. What's going on? Hank, I know you think I'm crazy, and maybe I am, but you gotta help me. Forget it. You're beyond help, Laywad. I mean it! If we don't do something, Cap is gonna die. And who knows what's gonna happen to me? Would you listen to yourself? You're cracking up. You gotta get out of this basement. Dad is gone, Tim. This isn't gonna bring him back. <sighs> Look, I'm just worried about you. If you're really worried about me, you'd help me. <sighs> you're serious. Please, Hank. All right, Timmy, what do you want me to do? I don't know who's crazier, him or me. Hasn't been a trainer in 50 years. We gotta put him away. He needs professional help. came back. I'm getting fed up with playing solitaire. He has his ticket this time, I assume. Cap! Well, of course he has his ticket. Cap! Cap! Wake up! Come on! No way. I disconnected it. Holy... You didn't think I'd make the same mistake twice? Out of my way, sit down. He doesn't have a ticket. He doesn't need a ticket. Well, I won't be needing that anymore. You love trains, don't you? Well, now you're going to get one all your own. Just a few more seconds. 713 crashed 80 years ago, and it's been doing it ever since, right on time. <laughs> I made one mistake. I've been trapped ever since. But it doesn't matter, because this time, I'll be gone. Here you are, my boy. The train's got to have a conductor. And a conductor.
conductors gotta have a watch. Take good care of my, excuse me, your tray. <laughs> it's train magic, Timothy. The most powerful copy. Ray Lawson? This is not my train. Best be getting on home. Cap? Uh, I don't think I'm gonna be coming around to the station for a while. That's good, Timothy. Maybe I'll stop by, watch you play some baseball. What just happened here? I think I just got rid of a couple of ghosts. So Tim learned about two kinds of magic. Train magic. And the kind of magic that happens between brothers and friends. I declare this meeting of the Midnight Society closed. <laughs>